All right, hey everyone, welcome to the uh, ninth installment in the 2019 Arborjet Winter Webinar Training Series. Today's topic is AceJet. So agenda today will cover what is AceJet, the active ingredient acetate, mode of action, common AceJet applications, application timing based on tree type, meaning uh, going by vessel, ring porous, diffuse porous versus tracheid, uh, cost of an application, and again, as always, the label and SDS. So starting off, what is AceJet? It's uh, the another one of Arborjet's broad spectrum injectable insecticides. This is our broadest spectrum. Uh, it covers the widest range of insects. Uh, due to its mode of action, it kills most piercing, sucking, and chewing insects, where uh, triage and G4 typically go after chewing insects. Imaget is more towards piercing and sucking. This one will cover both. Its active ingredient is acetate, which is an organophosphate. Uh, it's very fast moving through the tree and very fast acting on insects. You will see uh, insects dying, falling out of the tree by the afternoon if you inject it in the morning. You need to apply this when the tree is actively respiring. Uh, because of it, it, it does work, start working so fast, it, it, it won't sit around. Um, you want to mix this with water just prior to injecting. AceJet comes as a little, uh, as a mylar pouch of uh, dissolvable pellets. Uh, it's best to use curatively because it has a very short residual. It's only going to be active for 30 to 60 days, so about average 45 days uh, that this product is going to be active in the tree, unlike Imaget, which will work for uh, at least one season, uh, and triage and G4, which are a two-year control. You can actually mix this in with Minjet, FE, and, uh, or Palmjet for an insecticide fur combo because it is a, a water-dissolvable uh, granular. Um, and the other nice thing is that when AceJet starts breaking down as being metabolized by the tree and the insect, uh, it breaks down into phosphorus and sulfur, so your tree actually gets a little bit of a fertilizer bump out of it. So looking at the efficacy, uh, there's not a whole lot of great graphs on AceJet, so it's more of a, a story, anecdotal, before and after. So these are the Kiowa caterpillars uh, on monkey pod trees. This is in the the punch bowl cemetery uh, in uh, in Hawaii, uh, one of the big national cemeteries out there. Uh, so you can see the Kiowa caterpillar, absolutely devastating. Same tree, uh, before picture, and then after picture. Granted, it took a little while for the tree to recover like this, but you can see how much how, uh, how well it's recovered so far. Nice full canopy versus a completely empty canopy. That's only after uh, four weeks after treatment. Looking at some more pictures of before and afters or untreated versus treated, uh, AceJet on winter moth on linden. Winter moth's a big problem up in uh, our area in New England. Uh, it's significant control on many different insects. It does have a short residual in the tree, again, so uh, when the tree is actively respiring and when the insects are actively feeding on your tree or just prior to active feeding. So you can see the untreated basically uh, pretty much decimated. You're down to 20, 25% canopy right there versus the treated trees, which have just a couple bites taken out of it. So looking at mode of action, so AceJet is in solution with water. Uh, it, it's an organophosphate, which uh, is a cholinesterase inhibitor. So that's how it affects the insects. Uh, it moves rapidly through the tree because it is so water soluble. And because of the water solubility, it concentrates highest in the leaf tissue. So it moves up into the leaf tissue. So it's really good on leaf feeding insects, whether they're chewing or piercing sucking. So when you inject or infuse AceJet into the tree, it's going to move up all around. Most of it ends up in the leaf tissue. The insects can ingest AceJet, and then the acetate blocks the serine esterase nerve path, so it's cholinesterase inhibitor. 
Uh, acetylcholine builds up instead of being broken down, so acetylcholine is toxic to insects. And what acephate does is it stops the uh, the production of the product inside that the insect builds itself to take care of the acetylcholine. So it it stops what breaks down acetylcholine, so acetylcholine builds up, and that will cause convulsions, respiratory failure, and then death. So the acephate doesn't directly kill the insect, but it causes um, a stoppage in a process that allows a toxin to build up in the, in the insect, causing its death. So it's common applications. You get your tree type and pest. This is, uh, should be up on litmus. I believe it did upload this time. Um, oak, gypsy moth scales, two-line chestnut borer, canker worm, tent caterpillar, oak looper. So you're seeing a whole wide variety between caterpillar chewing insects, uh, borers, canker worms, so leaf feeding insects, clearing borers, ash flower, gall, soft scales. It will work on the EAB because it's mode of action, but again, it only work less than the tree for 45 days or so. So really, it's your last-ditch effort. Um, maples, cottony maple scale, aphids, looking at leaf miners, Japanese beetles, um, linden borers, aphids again, uh, hemlock with the adulgate elongate scale. The other nice thing about ace jet is this is effective against armored scale. So if you do have an armored scale, you can use ace jet, but again, your timing is is important. You have to be injecting this either at the point of the year where the insect's feeding or just prior to that. And it might be even worth coming back a couple weeks later and doing a repeat application. So costume application, ace jet's pretty cheap. Uh, a 15 gram packet costs $16. Uh, a packet makes a little over 100 milliliters. You mix it with 100 milliliters of water. So uh, adjusting for uh, the volume, I think it totally makes 125 milliliters of solution. Uh, but I just call it 100 for easy math. So your cost per mil is 16 cents. So a uh, 20-pack case, it comes in case sizes too, so you can buy a 20-pack case. That brings it down below $16 a packet, so you're going to increase or you're going to decrease your cost for that. The other thing about AceJet is that it's the one product that ArborJet produces that actually has different rates depending on what type of system you're using. And that really has more to do with the number of injection sites, how fast the product moves up the tree, and the volume of water needed to really be effective using that injection system. So for the quick jet and quick jet air, our, our micro injection single site, uh, it's a lower rate. It's actually just nine milliliters per injection site. You don't base it off of the diameter of the tree um, directly. You get your diameter, divide that by two, and then it's nine milliliters per e for each of those injection sites. The rate for micro infusion is 33 milliliters for a five to seven inch tree, and that's after you dissolve it into the 125. The rates are a bit higher because your product is spread out more because of your DDH divided by three. So because of that and the speed that the product's gonna move up, you need to put more in so that it can push itself sideways. So really this is a, a, a great product for one of those, for either your quick jet or quick jet air. It's a good product to use with your IV system if you're doing it in conjunction with uh, Minjet or a Palmjet injection as well. That way you're not, uh, you, you are getting some water dilution going um, and you're, you're using more volume of that bottle. So the rate, uh, 33 mils for a five to seven inch tree, an eight to 10 inch tree is 50 mils. And then for every next set of three, meaning so 11 through uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Each next set of three is tw another 25 milliliters of that solution. So looking at cost of injection, again, it's 
16 cents per mil. So for uh, injecting with a quick jet or quick jet air for that six, uh, six inch tree, you're looking at only $4.32. So really cheap. But again, it only works for about 45 days, maybe 60 if it's a slow metabolism tree. Um, but really, you're only going to get 45 days of effective use out of it. So that's another reason why it's so cheap. It's kind of throwing the last ditch effort at everything, or if you have a hard scale. Application times by tree. Remember, vessel systems faster than tracheids, and your ring pores are the largest ones, so they end up moving faster. So tree ID and quick jet are both about five to ten minutes. Your diffuse porous system, uh, diffuse porous trees are going to 10 to 15, maybe up to 20, and that's because you got to move around the tree. And then tree kids, again, slow, so you're still looking at 20 to 30 or 20 to 40 minutes. So it's still pretty quick. But again, tree kid systems, because you're trying to put that solution into a coffee stir versus a McDonald's straw, it's more restrictive based on just the vessel type. So best time of year to apply, again, this will vary again based on geographical region. Um, insects have to be feeding, uh, and the tree has to be actively respiring. So if your tree's not respiring, it's not a good time to put your product into the tree. So for the majority of the country, you're looking at halfway through May through just about end of September, just maybe touching into early October, depending on what type of insect. Uh, so for most of, for all the deciduous trees, you're looking at not during the winter months or the fringe shoulder months of half of April and May and first half of October. Again, at that time, except for Florida, Southern California, Southern Texas, maybe some of the other Gulf states, you're not really looking at active insects at that time of year either. And the label and SGS, SDS sheet, so again, this is a water dissolvable granular. So the active ingredient concentration in the package is really, really high. It's 97.4%. But then you dilute that with water. So then when your, your solution AI is going to be quite a bit lower. Uh, it's got a signal word of caution. You really do want to avoid breathing ace jet powder. Organophosphates are not fun for humans. Uh, we'll see that in a bit. Uh, so wear all your PPE, nitro gloves, long sleeve shirt, pants, socks, closed toed shoes, preferably work boots that uh, are at least waterproof, um, eye protection. When you're mixing it, if you have a dust mask, that's great to wear as well. After you mix it and it's, uh, and it's solubilized uh, and the cap's on the bottle, you can take your dust mask off because then there's no no dust to worry about breathing in anymore. Uh, if you do get it on your hands, wash them thoroughly. Uh, do not use this product on food-bearing trees or shrubs within one year of application. There is quite a bit of data that says acetate is, undetect is at undetectable levels sooner than that, but the label says one year, so go by the label. It's the law. Environmental ha hazards, uh, organophosphates are highly toxic to birds when directly ingested, so uh, if you spill it, clean it up. Uh, do not apply directly to a body of water, uh, especially organophosphates are just are bad news for lots of things. That's why it has such a broad range of insects it covers. Um, do not apply directly to water or dispose of excess waste in a waterway. Uh, organophosphates are are horrible for, for fish and invertebrates. You're going to want to try to mix only the amount that you need. Uh, so try to only do one packet at a time unless you're at a property where you're putting ace jet and everything and you know that you're going to need 200 or 300 milliliters of mixture. Then go ahead and mix it all up. Mix thoroughly. So typically you put half the amount of water in the bottle, add your ace jet, add the rest of the water. Uh, shake it up, stir it around, put the cap on it, shake it up. It's not going to expand or anything that doesn't cause any type of chemical reaction that causes gases to um, create pressure. 
Uh, so just shake it up, make sure it's all thoroughly dissolved. Again, like I mentioned before, there are slightly different rates for injection versus infusion, and that really has to do with the tightness of the spacing. Uh, the farther your spacing is, the more product you're going to have to put in to try to push over to that side. So if you have a quick jet or a quick jet air, this part is for you. If you have an IV system, if you're doing it in conjunction with a fertilizer application, then I'd go ahead and do it. Otherwise, I'd run out and pick up a quick jet. Uh, it does have the largest list of labeled pests. Uh, it takes up two slides. Uh, so you can see it running down the right-hand side here. Finishing up there, uh, when to treat, um, apply when signs of feeding begin. Good to make note of feeding accepted for IPM practices. So uh, because it is an organophosphate and they're, uh, they're highly toxic, it might be worthwhile setting up an IPM program instead of just going out uh, when you see one insect. Uh, it would be worthwhile to set up a you know, threshold level, like how many insects do I really need to see here before I decide to treat? Uh, how much damage can the tree take on its own without needing any help? So things like that that play into an IPM program. And you can repeat this application as necessary. Uh, there's not just a, because the residual is only 45 days, maybe maybe 60, uh, you can come back and do multiple applications in a year. But if you're coming back more than two, maybe three weeks later, you're going to have to put in new injection sites. So uh, timing, timing to get rid of that insect is critical. Uh, moving on to the SDS sheet. Uh, oral injection is the most dangerous exposure to ACE jet. Uh, you can see the LD50 in male raft is 688. The overall LD50 number of ACE jet is 846. If you remember back from the ImageJet lecture uh, and the recorded version of the triage where I talk about LD50 and uh, what the number means, the lower the number, the more toxic it is to you. So uh, this is just about half of ImageJet. It's a quarter of triage, so you need only a quarter of the volume of AI per kilogram of your body weight to make you sick, give yourself a 50% chance of, of uh, really feeling bad um, symptoms. There is subchronic toxicity, meaning uh, it can build up. If, you, if you're out using this day after day after day or week after week, uh, it can build up in your system. So, again, uh, cholinesterase inhibitor as an organophosphate, not something to really mess around with. Uh, if you treat it with respect, you'll be fine. So, again, PPE is very important. Gloves, pants, shirt, socks, glo uh, boots, eye protection, and definitely recommend wearing a dust mask, at least a dust mask, uh, while you're mixing it. So that covers HJET. Do we have any questions this morning?